Hello, uh, my name's Noel, I'm a psychotherapist. Welcome to my YouTube channel, good to have you here. Um, please just subscribe while you're here. Um, so, uh, and if you're watching this on my website, there's a blue link above the video, if you click on that, you can enter in your email details and I'll ping these blogs or vlogs over to you on a regular basis and you don't have to put any effort into getting them. Um, <clears throat> so today's video, short video today on healthier head habits. So getting healthier up here. In the sense of um, the way you think about yourself um, and getting sort of more flexibility inside your head, um, there's a term in a particular form of therapy called cognitive behavioural therapy about defences. Actually, defences is a term in use in lots of forms of therapy. The idea is to have flexible um, ways of thinking that open you up to possibility and learning new skills, new relationships, change, and all that sort of stuff. Um, we can develop inflexible ways of thinking. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the common ways that we have of sort of um, developing inflexible ways of thinking and being and relating to ourselves and to other people. So one of them is thinking that you're a failure. Um, perceiving yourself as a failure is usually that you take on far too much responsibility um, for things that are, are nothing to do with you. Um, some people get it from having overly um, critical parents when they're growing up or overly critical boss or something like that. Usually there's some sort of authority figure involved at some point in your life um, or a loved one at some point in your life that has been very critical and you've internalised that so that you have what we think of as a, an internal, a harsh internal critic. Uh, it's time to switch that off. Um, mostly because um, uh, if you start thinking about yourself in that way, you, you end up acting in that way and um, putting yourself in that position in your relationship so that you then have um, a self-fulfilling prophecy. So it's a good um, exercise to start writing down some of the um, failure thoughts that you have about yourself and beginning to challenge them in um, cognitive restructuring, um, which it does come from cognitive behavioural therapy. Um, being a perfectionist is um, very closely linked to this. Um, this harsh internal critic but setting yourself unrealistically high standards in any situation is going to lead to failure ultimately um, having more realistic balanced sort of goals um, short medium long-term goals in terms of your own self and other people your relationships your life um, will lead to less of a sense of um, failure um, and more of a sense of learning actually which is the really important thing there's there's no such failure unless you fail to learn, in one sense. If you learn from something, if you can learn from something, it's not a failure, it's just been a useful learning opportunity. Guilt is closely connected to this. Um, there are some forms of guilt that are useful um, in motivating you um, when you've actually done something wrong in the world, but there are many forms of guilt um, that are not connected to any actions that... Um, that you've done in the world, any harm or bad things that you've done in the world. Um, like, for example, if you're successful in a particular area of your life and then being worried about that because other people that you're close to, maybe family or partner, um, isn't. And feeling guilty about that is completely useless. There's nothing you can do about that. And guilt in that context will end up with um, a negative cycle inside your head of becoming overly responsible um, and then thinking that you're a failure when you may actually be very successful in the world. So not enjoying your success. There are various other forms of guilt um, that we could go through, don't have time. Living with regret um, is again closely connected to um, guilt. Um, I um, yeah again it's about what can you do in the world about it if you, if you have power over something to change it then do it if you have no power over it to change it then the regret is um, a useless feeling it's only useful in motivating change if you can't possibly change something maybe because you have regret about a relationship to a parent who's died for example there's nothing you can do about that. You need to find a way of letting it go, letting go of that feeling and putting it to bed, as it were, getting some closure on um, the situation, because otherwise you end up in rumination, which is you're thinking about it, thinking about the failure, you get into depression and anxiety and so on. And then you get into um, comparing yourself to others, which is another, um, another negative cognitive state. Compare and despair 
is often the term people use. So comparing yourself to others, um, there's, um, there's a lot of sort of very sort of um, interesting sayings around, like comparing your insides to somebody's outsides, um, comparing your beginning to somebody's middle. Um, I guess in popular culture, we understand that um, comparing yourself to other people um, is never a good idea. Compare yourself to yourself, your own personal development and goals that you set, as long as they're realistic and grounded goals. So there's a few thoughts. Um, I've taken this from a blog by Melanie Greenberg. So Melanie, thanks for that. Um, the Six Mental Health Habits That Kill Your Confidence um, is a blog. And she's a great blogger. Check her out. Um, so, um, yeah. It's been great to have you here today. If you're having any of these problems, do um, get in touch with me. I can usually help you pretty quickly with this sort of stuff. It's not a, a lifelong uh, contract to therapy. It's a pretty um, quick uh, series of things that you can do in terms of changing your behaviour, learning some tools like cognitive restructuring, um, and getting some more information about how your brain works and why it's negative for you to do those sorts of things. So do get in touch if you're having problems with that sort of thing. Uh, my number is 07506 319 745. That's 07506 319 745. Thanks for dropping by and I hope to see you again another time. Bye-bye.